So this project, we are trying to simulate the recent Ottawa Gatineau tornado um, that hit uh, the Dundrobin community. So there were six tornadoes touched down at the same time uh, in that Ottawa Gatineau region. Uh, but we are aiming towards the higher, uh, or the stronger tornado, which is an EF3 rated tornado. And uh, we will be simulating a block in neighborhood block in the Dundrobin community. And we are trying to, um, it's like we are trying to mitigate the tornado risk. And also we are trying to better estimate losses uh, from experimental simulations. If you look at the tornado statistics, almost 90% of the tornadoes are EF2 and lower. So designing a building for EF4 or EF5 rated tornadoes doesn't make much sense because those are too strong. So for typical residential houses, designing a building with EF2 and EF2 rated tornado would make much more sense. And that's why we picked this tornado because this is an EF3 tornado and this hit a typical residential block that we see in Canada. And um, so this would allow us to use this as a template for other neighborhood blocks in Canada. So we see a rise in tornadoes in recent years. And there have been studies that are showing that the, uh, the tornado alley, the well-known tornado alley that stretches from Texas to Dakotas, it has been moving east which means we might see more and more tornadoes in Canada. So using this would definitely help uh, the insurance industry, the uh, builders, and also the homeowners to get a better uh, look at how tornado interacts with building and design buildings accordingly. Very typical pressure model. So what we have here, we have holes, like if you can see here, these tiny holes all over the roof and then all on all of the walls. And each of these holes is connected to a plastic tube that gets connected to a pressure transdu transducer. And that's how we can measure the surface pressure on the building. 100 to 300 million. Yeah. And that's probably just insured losses or uh, overall. Just insured losses. Yeah. Right. Uh, so mitigating 10%, 20%, any percentage of that huge number is huge success, right? right? And we truly believe that with facility like this and experiments that we designed, we can contribute to mitigating uh, losses that will for sure happen in the future. Uh, it's just how can we improve the resilience of communities to tornadoes.